commenting with Google Plus sucks. But commenting with Reddit is awesome. So head on over to Reddit and leave a comment on this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa and today I am here with part two of decorating Percival's Fitness, the new gym on the mainland. And it's going quite well. I love the way this building building has turned out. I really like it. Let me show you what I've done so far on the ground floor. There's Percival showering. He's testing out the shower. And we also have, oh, I just noticed something cool. Uh, anyway, we have a little sauna area here, kind of basic, simple, you know, um, I don't mean sauna, I mean hot tub area here. And also, I just noticed this hot tub is by Simgadon, by Tolly at Simgadon, and it has this lovely little floor here. What a neat touch. And it also matches the floor that he has over here. This is also from Simgadon, this neat little floor piece right here. Boy, and one of the reasons why I like his uh, stuff so much, and any good creator really takes care of the details. So that you can just look at a piece and go, oh, that's Simgadon. You just know automatically that it's his because his style is very distinct and the clean lines of his uh, stuff, really well done. Okay, so um, moving up here, I've put some plants uh, in the front and in the uh, back uh, of the lot here, pretty it up a bit. And now it's time to head over here to Yawn Yoga Room. Uh, let's see here. We need a rug. Just wondering um, how I should do this rug size here. I think... Oh, that's a square rug. Uh, I think we need a 3 by 4 which would be this one here. Nope, that's a 4 by 5 but let's see. Let me get this. I can't see. Um, and the mirror on the wall makes it slightly hard for me. And let me change the color of the rug. It might make it easier for me to see where the rug <laughs> stops and starts. There we go. Okay. Uh, so. That feels too big. I don't know about what you guys think, but that feels too big. I feel like I'd rather do two small rugs like this, side by side. Um, this is four. If I put this here, and then I put another one down, does it fit? I didn't think so. This is a slightly odd sized room. That's a three by four. So I think a three by three Yep, two three by threes ought to do it. So now let me try and find a pattern for this. Hey, that's small. Did I just press the wrong size? I did. Sure enough, I did. Look at that. I did it. Okay, uh, I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to line up the, the rug with the edge of the door here, with the middle door, to give us perhaps a, look, a cohesive look. And then I'm going to turn this rug around. And let's see how we do. As I always say, let's have the courage of our convictions, whatever those are. I'm going to move this one back a bit. Because my the courage of my convictions is not allowing me to let that stick like that. <laughs> okay. Um. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> I know it's funny that I ask you like and you like somebody can answer me. I'm <laughs> sitting here all by myself, but that's what you guys do. You head on over to comments and you let me know, and you're like, I don't know, I don't like it. I guess maybe it just comes from. I got my start in in doing let's plays from 
doing live simming sessions, which I did before Let's Play. So I'm so used to asking you guys, what do you think? <laughs> um, let me see if there's anything else that's, that's, you know, I'm not feeling this rug 100%. Oh, I like that green. But I'm trying to get something that really works with the, uh, with the whole room. No, 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 no. And let me go into red, uh, the reds here. This rug, by the way, is part of the rug superset over at TSR. Oh, I think that's probably the best one. And like I said, I've, I've always said this, I can hear an invisible audience in my head going, choose that one. Choose that one. No, don't choose that one. No, choose that one. <laughs> Nope, I think that was the one. And then, of course, you guys will give me comments later on that say, Jessa, I didn't feel it. That rug you chose, I just didn't feel it. But then you made it work. <laughs> Somebody said that recently about my, oh, this isn't going to work. Because, well, actually it will. It doesn't work if I have the rugs kind of bounced up next to each other. Because it's not continuous. And that just bugs my eyeball. Can't have that. Let's see. Nope. Um, that one kind of works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't even know. Okay. Um, but I like this rug because it also so shows a dual purpose. Oh, that works. When I spread it apart, look. <gasps> Copal! I mean, it looks like um, the pattern is crossing the gap. Do you see what I mean? Like over here? That's neat. That was a lucky break, huh? <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, um, I like this rug very much because it has squares on it, which I'm going to use later on to, to show where the class pe people in class will stand. Okay, so over here we're just going to do a simple bathroom. Despite the fact that this is a female bathroom, as you can see here, it says women. Um, well, I was thinking about putting a urinal in here, just for kicks. Just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> just living wild, you know, like you do. Uh, I'm going to use this wonderful toilet here. Because it's modern looking. <laughs> and it's what Percy would go for. Uh, and this is going to have to be a single-use bathroom because a Sim won't use this bathroom with another Sim in it. But over here... There is a kitchen that... I mean, a sink that I want to use with this. This music is uh, by Kevin McLeod from Incompetech, Royalty Free Music. You can see his link in the description box below if you want some for your Let's Play. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking for a particular um, sink. I mean, a uh, counter. Ah, there it is. Okay, so this is part of the Riva kitchen set. And there are two different counters, and I'm going to choose... That's a black one, if I can find a dark brown one. Not so lucky. Okay, well, I'll go for white. And I'm going to put one here. And then we're going to head on over to the sink and see if the sink I'm looking for fits on top of it. This sink right here. No, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? I guess it is. Look at that. Huh. Um. Uh, oops. This uh, black and white theme, I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to go for a gray. Yeah, much better. So despite the fact that that sink is covering up the entire counter, that sink really is... Um, like if I do that without a counter, it just sinks into the floor. So it is supposed to go over a counter. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, um, once again, we need some toilet paper. I'm 
Ah, oh, stop doing that. You're driving me nuts. Um. Boy, I hate this little empty spot over here. It just bugs my eye. <laughs> oh, I know. Who <laughs> can go here? <laughs> uh, the first thing that can go here is a nice wastebasket. No, I don't like that. I know it. I want to go here. That wastebasket was just not the thing. So I'm going to go for uh, some towels on the here on the uh, wall, but I'm thinking that I have some towels from that are custom content. And they are Huh. This is part of the manor house washroom. The manor house collection is uh, over at Mod the Sims and it's done by Phoenix Fairy. And it is an incredible set. Wowie. Wowie Zowie Baby. It is very well done. It is a complete manor house set. And this is more along the lines of what I was thinking about. Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks like a heated towel rack or something. So wanky. <laughs> Um, okay, I would like a, a, a wash, a, I mean a rubbish bin or something here, but I'm not seeing what I want. Has to have just the right flavor. Ah, something like this. Yeah. Uh... You know, I need to remember to use my quarter tile cheat. I never remember to use that. Quarter tile cheat on and then control F to turn it on and yep. There. I really ought to remember that thing. I guess it's for so many years of not using it that it's hard to build a new habit. Okay, that's pretty much it for this room. Once again, I could use some some ideas on wall direction uh wall. I'd like to have something on each wall here for wall decoration. Um, something that just says soothing and yoga and relaxation. Be nice if I had some really beautifully framed pictures of Sims doing yoga. That'd be pretty great. But I don't have the slightest desire to do all that. Okay, let's move on over here. If anyone wants to make me some uh, beautifully framed pictures of their of Sims doing yoga, I would take it. And if I liked them, I'd put them up. Okay. Uh. Oh. Well, how big are these? Do you have any any, any bigger? No, they're all pretty small. Um. Hmm. This is a set by Pico Noidly. Uh, oh, it's actually quite good. Let's use it. I will still take a, a picture of your Sims doing yoga if you have one. Um, she's got quite a lot of art here. What is that? Is that a picture of a Sim dancing? I can't tell what, I mean a p person dancing? Okay, well, first of all, let me try to find the right size. That's super small. That's large. So we'll go with this and raise it up on the wall. It's a little bit off-center. So quarter tile cheat be damned. I don't care. Um, now, let me see, because it looked like she had some pictures here of... bodies in motion. Nope, that's a wolf. On its side. Nope, those are not what I thought they were. Those are animals. 
very nicely done. And actually, the reason why they're that way is that she has given these uh, horizontal as well, too. They're horizontal versions. That's pretty cool. Uh, but these... Uh, oh, I'm not feeling it. I thought I felt it, but I didn't. I will save that beautiful set for another occasion. Um, there is actually, now that I think about it, if I remember correctly, I do have a set of dancers. They're not quite yoga. They're more... So oh, and they're too big. Woo, way too big. Okay. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Now, um, over here, we want to have, I know what I want in this corner. And then we're going to move all the way over here to I have these wonderful punching bags. And they have a lot of recolors. And I'm just trying to... F ah. That's kind of boring. Gray. Leave it up to me to choose the boring color. <laughs> I'm still somewhat allergic to color. I admit it. <laughs> There's just plain old black, but that's kind of intimidating looking. It's so scary. Okay. The trick is to have this os. If it can sit right in that corner, that would be perfect. The trick is the sim has to be able to access it. Let's see where that... Yep. They should be able to, because based upon the way the green arrows are pointing. And just so you know, with the little pointy... pointy aspect of the arrow there, and the green box... <laughs> I don't even know what to say there. Uh, but what was showing up right here, that shows where the sim is going to enter and use the object. So you don't want to have this up against a wall. The sim won't be able to use it there. So that's what that is for. Learn something new every day. And um, over here in front of the window seems like a perfect spot for some treadmill action. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, turn the snap objects to grid on again. Whoop! That's me misspelling. Perfect. Shift and another one there. These take up a lot of room. So... But they also are very effective. And I'm wondering... No, I, yeah, I know that the way the sim enters this is from the end. So I'm wondering... No, I, I don't think so. Uh, and then let's see if we can squeeze just a couple more exercise machines in here. Just a couple more. I actually have some that are a light blue. Is that a light blue right there? Yeah. Um. Oh, I just did it. I just blocked the entry to getting to it so it's gonna be a tight squeeze but i'm gonna have uh, percy double check and make sure everything works so there's a weight bench here there's also an exercise bike right here and i'll pick that i'm hoping that they'll work nice and close like that and I just had a great idea, but I don't know if we'll be able to do it. No, there's no room for it, really. That's the that's the difficulty with having, um, you know, a small lot. There's only so much you can squeeze into a place, you know. Um, okay, so can I fit? Ah, yeah. I think I can fit one more machine in here. 
I'm gonna choose this one simply because I find the animation that The Sims use with it to be quite amusing. That's that's it. That's the only reason why. Uh, it might have a problem with the door. We'll see. I'll have to keep. That's the problem with the you know laying things out like this, is because I want Percy to also be able to coach The Sims, and. Uh, a sim can give lessons on the exercise machine to other sims if he has a higher body skill than the sim receiving the lesson. So I want to make sure that, 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 that he can reach it over here. But anyway, there's something to start off with. And if I can find any more space to squeeze anything. I don't think I want to stick anything down there, no. What are you thinking, Jessa? Okay. Uh, I want to repeat the motif here. Oh, and I also have things that I can put on the wall in that exercise room. I don't want that. I want... It's hard to select the... There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving how this is coming together. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> Actually, I know why I'm talking like that. Because in the uh, podcast we did, my character had, <laughs> had an accent similar to that. A way of st a style of speaking. Ooh, that's too bright. That, uh... Oh, that's neat. That was very similar to that, and it was quite fun to play her. And by the way, you guys may be wondering what's happening with my um, doing my own role play, uh, tabletop role playing show here on the channel. And it's still going on. I'm still um, in the midst of collecting uh, women that can do it because I want it to be female only. Uh, and. Um, trying to find, you know, people who are personable and good on camera and that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have three women that I am uh, interested in asking and I will be asking them soon. And if, if one of them says they don't want to do it, then I'll keep searching until I find a good third woman to do it. Uh, anyway, there's a flower there. Oh, yes, we are missing a bathroom here. This is where we can put our happy urinal. Yes, I said happy urinal. I did. <laughs> Our happy little urinal. You would think that urinals would be the most unhappy thing on the in the, <laughs> in the world. <laughs> oh, we're running out of cash. I'm going to mother load them. I don't care. Percy, go wild with all that cash. Uh, urinal and a sink. There's a sink, and let's find a counter to put it on. I picked this counter in a cream white, and we'll do the same thing. Grab our sink, slap it on there. We're good to go. And so is the Sim who goes in here. Ha ha ha. Bathroom joke. Okay, uh, moving upstairs. I think in this uh, upstairs area here, like I said, I'm going to do a juice bar type thing or, um, and I know pretty much where I want this juice bar. I think I want it right here. We're moving along at a good clip. I'm normally not this quick with decorating. Well, that's because I cut off a lot of the tedious part by doing the preparation beforehand. And I think I'll do that for my lots from now on. So you guys can come in and just see the walls and the floors down and ready to go. And then we can just get right into the decorating part. Mmm. Ah, this is, this bar, bar is definitely calling to me. Let's see what happens if I put one 
And then... Oh, that looks neat. Cool. I don't know if it'll work out the way I want it to, because a sim can only work at one bar at a time. Uh, but we'll see how that works out. And let's get some fancy chairs here. I know exactly the ones I want. They are uh, clear. There they are. They are by Forever Sim Fantasy. Uh, go to 4 720p and, and, and zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about here. And I'm going to take that quarter tile to cheat off for a moment while placing these so I don't have any fuss and bother. And I think over here I will put, as far as food is concerned, the, the best, oops, the best uh, food that I know of for community lots, if you want to just get some quick food, is the Sim Wardrobe mod Modular Buffet Table. It's the best there is. And two of them side by side make a very cute little thing there, but three of them side by side are terrible, so don't try it. I've done it. Um, and it's very simple. You just uh, turn on auto refill. You turn on charge for food, and then you select the food that you want to have. And uh, I'll have... Oh, it's already given me some food there. <laughs> what is that? I'll just keep it. Uh, but over here, I will select the food first. Dinner. Um, and I'll do a, 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 chef, a chef salad, because let's try and be healthy. What is this? I think that's pork chops? on some sort of green thing. <laughs> That's healthy enough. And turn on auto refill and it'll automatically refill and then charge for food. And that's it. The Sim will now make money off of that. That's a wonderful thing. It's available at simwardrobe.com. And I think I'm going to end this episode here. And we will come back and finish up kind of do the detail stuff and the fun little touches uh, and also we'll do the massage room and Percival's office and then at that point we'll be ready for the episode where we do the playtesting and see how it works so it's gonna be a lot of fun and I appreciate you sticking it with me and enjoying this decorating episode if you are enjoying it head on over to reddit and leave a comment at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash the jessa channel there are a lot of people over there leaving comments. And um, by the way, if you are playing a Sims game and you want to show off some pictures of your game, do so. Start a thread over there and say, here's some pictures of my game. Show it off. Feel free to do so. As long as you're le making threads about what's pertinent to the channel, what games we're playing together, it's fine to go over there and make a thread of your own. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, let's get a nice little view of how things are going. And look at it. It's going to be so cool when everybody's doing class and you can see it through the window. <gasps> so cool. <laughs> if you enjoyed what you saw today, please hit the thumbs up button below and encourage me. And if you loved what you saw, join the party. The ever-growing party, now 5,000 strong. And subscribe. I'll see you back here in Akinthot for more decorating of Percival's Fitness Center in the next episode. As always... Thank you so much for watching. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads. And thanks for watching.